So unavoidable food waste, I think, is a very, very open term. It can classify anything that people would consider edible still, but would happily throw it away. You could so easily avoid it. You could so easily find no use for it. For the dish that I created, I decided definitely to showcase aquafaba as a main product. Aquafaba translates from Latin, which is aqua for water and faba for beans. And they tend to disregard it, they tend to throw it away, it's down the sink. You could use those liquids as a replacement for eggs. So when you whip it up, when you start incorporating air in there, it does what egg whites do. Then I slowly incorporate sugar in there while it's whisking to create a very, very fluffy sort of like meringue. When I was comprising this dish in my head, I really wanted to showcase the maximum yield of a singular pineapple. The skins of the pineapples contain a lot of yeast. So when you take the skins of pineapple and you ferment it with a little bit of sugar and water, it creates something called tapache. And of course, at home, if you wanted to do this, I would just recommend you keep it in a tub, in a jar, in a tub, and burp it every few days. But typically after five days, you would end up with tapache. It is a beautifully fermented liquid that's a little bit fizzy and yet packed full of flavor. Items that could be considered unavoidable food waste, like vegetable peels are a really good basic one. I had collected a bunch of vegetable peels and I decided, okay, the best way I would like to use them is actually to create ash. Vegetable ash actually adds a lot of flavor. For the last one unavoidable food waste I used was um, fish scales. Remove the scales of a fish, washed it thoroughly and dried them really well, and then fried it in really hot oil. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it does not get stuck in your teeth. So a typical pavlova is assembled in a way where the pavlova is always at the bottom and then it's topped up with the fruit, but with the flavors and ideas that I brought into this using unavoidable food waste. Know what to do with it, then find reason to explore other ideas that could potentially relate back to a zero waste kitchen.